Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly's. So, got here for Transit Connect. Um, I'm going to talk about some of the cars that I'm sort of considering not to do DPF cleans on anymore just because of uh, issues that arise after it's been cleaned. So, these four Transit Connects 1.5 with the AdBlue system on it and the Land Rover Evogue, Range Rover Evogue, or the Land Rover Discovery Sport with the 2 litre Ingenium that's got the DPF fitted further back they all have this problem where if I'm doing a dozen a week two or maybe three out of those would would come back within maybe three days or three weeks somewhere in between that and you'd first off have a P2463 code I clean the DPF then what happens is not all of them but say 10% would come come back with the engine light on and say all right we'll plug it back in see what's going on you then find within a short period after the DPF's been cleaned it's now got a DPF efficiency code so the DPF pressure is now too low that happens on these I think either because it's bad software or bad material in the DPF now with a block DPF it can disguise that problem because if you've got a crack on the DPF but it's filled with hard hardened soot it can it can disguise that issue a good way to know if you have got that issue is by testing the exhaust tip with your finger so by coming under here and rub my finger we can see very very tiny amounts on this but if you've got you know lumps and lumps of soot that come out you know that the DPF is is already damaged this one is is it's, it's got some issues because it is letting some soot pass but whether or not when we clean it that could get worse see the reason it can get worse is if there is a, a tiny crack on it but the the, the soot and, and ash that's in there is, is blocking that crack um, then when you clean it you wash that out you've then opened up a crack in the DPF that is now letting large amounts of soot pass and the pressure then is not good enough in the DPF or the particle matter sensor is now picking that up um, so there's, like I said these are the two vehicles that that happens to Ford Transit Connect 20 sort of 16 onwards and the 2016 onwards Discovery Sport and Range Rover Evogue um, I do clean the DPFs on these but I just got to make that aware to the customer that these problems can happen and if it does it's you know it's it's not that I haven't cleaned it properly because what some customers don't understand is so if you're a regular customer and you come with one of these cars and I clean your DPF because you've got an engine management light on all 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 your regular customer is looking at is, is they've got this amber light on it's engine management it's it's on the under their van and it's a DPF issue that's all they know it's a DPF issue I clean the DPF sometimes within a, a month or two or sometimes I've seen some come back within a week and you plug it in and it's a P2002 I've already showed some of the videos on that before I've made videos where some have come back and it's, it's now got a P2002 code um, that always seems to happen after the boost hose has been split but anyway We'll talk about it in a minute, but what I'm trying to make clear is, as far as the customer is concerned, is they've paid you to get rid of this engine management light, but now it's back. And you're telling them, well, it's a DPF issue now, but it's a different issue, but they don't really understand that. So the problem is, is for me, as a business, is are these now becoming a little bit too much hassle or not? But if you're, if you're repairing 12 and 10 of those customers are happy, one or two have had the problem come back, you know you've got to explain it so they understand and most of them do understand uh, but what always happens on these is they firstly get a split boost hose I've seen it loads of times you fix the boost hose clean the DPF and then shortly afterwards you realize the DPF cracked this one has just had the boost hose replaced from Ford so it's the boost hose here that one's just been replaced so if we look at the data here for the DPF, it's sort of idling between 12 to 18. It's got 210% on the soot level, fill level of the DPF. That's the calculations. Engine management lights on. So the question is, is when you clean this, will he get any further issues? Nine times out of 10 you don't, but like I said, there is always that one that it does happen to. More so with the Land Rover Evogue or Discovery Sport. I think they're sort of 50-50 on those at the moment. Um, 
yeah so that's just a bit of an explanation on how these systems this vehicle in particular and the Range Rover Vogue have just haven't got the system working correctly so I hope I've explained that to you the viewers if you're a customer or a mechanic just be aware of those issues if you are a mechanic as well you just got to be aware of those issues that can arise and I'll see you on the next video